In today's video, I have a Rose Gal haul for you, but it is a Rose Gal haul with a twist because Rose Gal at the moment have an entire collection on their website that is goth inspired. So they asked me to collab and do a little haul, show you the pieces, and I thought, you know what, it could be fun to do. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. Per usual, Rose Gal has gifted me the items for today and they give you a discount code here on the screen and per usual, all the details are in the description box down here in the corner. There's links and everything you need to know, loads of videos, discount codes, the whole work. So do go and check that out, right? But listen, um, goth inspired today. Let's go for it. Now, admittedly, I don't know a lot about being goth nor the goth lifestyle, but I happen to have a YouTuber buddy of mine who lives and breathes a goth lifestyle. She has a goth channel as well. She does fantastic makeup, crafting and loads of stuff. Her name is Dina and I'll link her channel for you down in the description box if you want to check out more about the goth lifestyle. Dina has given me a couple of pointers. I'm not quite sure that what I have picked is really gonna fall under what she would personally wear or would it personally fit into the goth lifestyle. But Dina approved my haul before I ordered it all and says those pieces we can get to work. I'm simply just going to jump into the pieces. I'm gonna make up some outfits and then we'll talk about the pieces as we go along. Not knowing much about the goth lifestyle nor the dress code, I decided just to style this little dress as the model is wearing it on the website. I thought that would be the easiest. So I have added kind of biker style boots. These are the best I can do. These are from my own collection. So these are not available on Rose Gal, just so you're aware. It is the dress that takes center stage. Now I do think this dress is very, very cute. The light purpley color is not a color I normally gravitate towards at all, but I do like it. I do love it here. Let me just get close up here. Can you see here? It, there's skull in this mesh. Look, it's like this, so it's like two layers, right? But in the mesh, there's like skulls in it. Isn't that fab? Now, I do happen to love skulls. I don't know how I would actually make this work for my own personal style. I think definitely for me, it would have to be a pair of heels. <laughs> now, I teamed it with a necklace as well. And if you've been here before, you know I very rarely wear necklaces. But I thought, yeah, I'm gonna try this. And my daughter, Emma, she absolutely loves this one. She says, mom, if you're not going to wear that, I'm going to take it. So I know it's not going to go to waste. And it only cost a couple of quid. So it's adorable. Gorgeous little butterfly there. And then the two chains. And then it closes together. I have it, have it tightened quite a lot just so it sits close to my neck. But there is loads of scope in this one. So even if you, like me, are plus size and need plus size jewelry, this one out, pulling my hair. This one, look, it sits like this, but it's quite long. I love this outfit. It's not my personal style at all, but I suppose anything goth is not really going to fit under my personal style, is it? But I do love the dress. I think it's very, very cute. I think for me, it'll probably be more something like I would wear maybe for Halloween or something like that. Yeah, I think. But, but I actually like it. I really like it. I'm honestly not really sure if I'm nailing this style at all. I feel a bit more punk rock than I actually feel goth. I kind of also feel I really should be having black hair and a black lipstick, but this is the darkest lipstick I have. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but I'm not quite sure I'm nailing it. Anyway, t-shirts my own, boots are the same as before. What we need to talk about is the shorts and these bloody glove thingies. Dina told me that fishnets play a huge part in the goth wardrobe. And I saw that Rose Girl had these uh, fun gloves. So I thought these would be perfect. They are basically just like a fishnet, but there is just like an opening for the hand, a little opening for the pinky finger and for the thumb. They just pull up and obviously you can just put them wherever you want in length. This is as far as they will go on me. So maybe that will give you an indicator of size. I don't know. I think they're kind of fun and they're definitely going in my dress up box. That's for sure. Now, the belt that I have here, that's actually the necklace I wore two seconds ago. Dina told me that the goth wardrobe is very much like layers. So I thought, why not put a bling on it? So this is just a necklace I poked in here with two little safety pins. But what I really wanna talk about is these shorts. When I took them out of the bag, I thought, really? Then I put them on and I'm like, wow, where have these been all summer? It is a denim pair of shorts. Now there's no side pockets, but there's cargo pockets, something cargo go pockets down here below. 
on the back they are just smooth there's no pockets on at all but because i do have these two big cargo pockets i don't actually mind they are 98 percent cotton and just two percent polyester so these should very much keep their shape when you wash them they are a lovely denim absolutely lovely denim and the fit is bloody perfect and if you've been here before and you follow me you know how much i hate shorts i never wear shorts I love these and there's belt loops. I could actually put a belt in and these, I'll be honest with you, I could dress them up, I could dress them down. These shorts are fantastic. And per usual, I will link everything in the description box if you want to go and check it out. But this is a fun little outfit, isn't it? I actually like this. Would I wear it? Maybe not the gloves, maybe not the gloves, but the rest, yeah, I would. Next up, I thought I'd just share with you these little Capri jeans that I picked up. I didn't even change out of anything else, just took off the boots there so you could see the length on my legs. Now, Capris are notoriously difficult to get the right length on a body, no matter what shape or height you are, because if it doesn't cut you just at the correct place down on your leg, it will make your legs very stumpy. I think for these, I would probably need to kind of roll them up a little bit and see if I can make them work. They're definitely not the greatest length on me. My legs does look very stumpy. But I thought, do you know what? I do love the Rose Gal jeans. I have several pairs of jeans from Rose Gal. These ones are 5XL and they fit me absolutely perfect, including on the back side. They are the cotton and polyester blend. Again, there's a good bit of stretch in these. A pair of denims. You know, you can never go wrong with them. I wouldn't say they're particularly goth, but I'm sure that someone who's professional like Dina could make them work. I just like them. Thought I'd try them out. My next outfit, a gorgeous skirt. Same boots, same t-shirt. It is the skirt that is our focal point this time. Now, I don't, as I've said several times now, I don't know much about goth. I am getting serious pirate vibes with this one. I could literally see myself dressing up as a pirate for Halloween or a dresser party or something like that and using this skirt for it. It is a polyester skirt, but it's loads stretchy, which I really love. And then we have this corset detail that runs the whole way down the front of the skirt. Up here in the front, we have a lovely thick waistband, and then we have the little buttons here before it goes into the suspenders, which then crisscross on the back. This is a fun little skirt. And to be honest with you, I could definitely see myself wearing this, but as for goth, this is fun. This is really fun. I love how it just sits on the body. It just gives you the definition of a waist. And as you know, I don't have much of a waist. This is a really, really fun outfit. Oh, I forgot to show you the earrings. Seriously, look at these. Look at these. They are a little skeleton that dangles and moves around as you move. Isn't he adorable? It was actually my daughter, Emma, who found them when we were searching for pieces for this haul. And she says, mom, can I have those? And I says, it's not for you. But I have a feeling that as soon as I'm finished filming, she will be nicking these. But are they adorable? They are so cute. Listen, I really, really like, oh, I really, really like this outfit. Um, I could definitely see this skirt fitting into my own personal wardrobe as well. But again, great outfit. Now, some of you may be wondering by now, but Marlene, why, when your style is so different from a goth style, would you take on a haul like this? And it's actually quite simple. First of all, I love Rose Gal. I love the style. And although it's very different from my own style, I love sharing with you guys out there the different styles that's actually on the market for us plus size girls. On top of that, I want to really show people that although I'm probably not nailing this goth vibe, the options are there. And just because I'm this age and this size, does not mean to say I can't have fun with fashion. So that is why I'm doing this. And that is why I think this is so much fun. This feels a bit more goth like to me. I don't know what it is with this. I just kind of get more of that goth vibe. Maybe it's because all these chains and all this is already sitting on the tank top. I like it. I like it. Boots again, I'm the same. I put on a pair of cycling shorts underneath. It's roasted hot here. I could imagine that maybe a pair of fishnets would be fantastic looking under these. But I don't have any, sadly. This is a little tunic top. It's not a dress, but it's definitely long enough on me just to sit as a dress. All four corners, because it is corners of this, the skirt part goes down into like, it is a square kind of thing, dips down into little triangular shapes, which again is very, very different for me, but I'm not opposed to it. I'm not mad at it at all. 
All these chains are already sitting on the dress. They're well secured here. And this can move up and down. So you can kind of play around with it whichever way you want it. Couple of buttons, another ring, and another little ch um, chain up here. Now, the one thing I will say is though, the straps here are not adjustables because it has these loops in it. I would need to literally make it smaller, sew it smaller, which would be a little bit, not difficult, it can be done, but with the little hoops in it, it will take a little bit more planning and work. On the back, what have we got on the back? I haven't even looked at it. Just plain and simple. Yeah, that's gorgeous. It is a cute little top and I really, really like this as an outfit. Again, the gloves are the same that I showed you earlier on and so is my boots. It's a fun little outfit. Would I actually wear it on an everyday basis? No, because again, it's not my style. But as a dresser, I like this. Next up, I have another little top and I'm actually in love with this one already. I'm not sure again that it's actually giving me goth vibes. I do feel more a bit more like private vibes to be honest with you but maybe Dina can help us out if she watched this video with a few kind of pointers to see how we can make it work this one however I could definitely see myself wearing with a pair of leggings I think it would be very very cute with leggings it is a polyester material tons of stretch we have the little buckles sitting here you can tighten in them if you want to and then these straps here this is all sewn together so you only have this strap up here that's loose this is like all sewn together, which I really appreciate. So it's sitting where it's supposed to. I love the little sleeve. It is a little bit loose in the top elastics for me. And I have quite big arms, but maybe it's supposed to kind of fall down. I don't know. Very, very cute though. Plain and simple on the back. Again, it is a high low. So it's lower down. Can you see it there? It's lower down the back where the front part just starts here. So a good bit of a difference. But that's what makes it flow so lovely, which I really, really like. Again, I think pirate vibes more than goth, but I do like it. This is one I think I could actually make work in my own personal wardrobe. I think this is very cute. I still have one more outfit to go, but I actually think I have found the star of this haul. This dress is one that's going straight to my wardrobe because I would wear this goth or no goth. I love it. Again, polyester, again, a stretchy dress. This is just so soft and so gorgeous i'm in love with the color the shape fits me absolutely perfect i didn't check the size of it at all so again description box look at this gorgeous crisscross up here it's fantastic this do you know what it feels like you're wearing a pajama dress but i look shit hot i love the skull design can you see it there look the skull design the color is amazing i don't know what else to say except sorry it's just my dog this is amazing i'm in love with it and do you know what, goth or no goth, this one is going straight in my wardrobe. The last pieces I have picked for today, my idea was to merge into an outfit, my own personal style with the goth style as well. So I started off with a pair of jeans. I love my jeans like most of us do. However, again, I got the size wrong. These are way too big for me. I could definitely have sized down a size or even two because there's tons of stretching as well. There is, however, also tons of flair in them, which I love. I would simply just pair these with a pointy pair of black shoes and then this top here. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, on the back side, plain and simple pair of jeans. They do have the brown stitching, which I personally love. But then let's talk about this gorgeous top. I absolutely love the aesthetic of this top. However, it is too long for me. It makes my legs look way too stumpy. Um, and it's just not my aesthetic with long tops anymore, but I was thinking maybe I could shorten it because I really do like it. Let me get a bit closer. Here in the front, it is red with the lace on top and then it's black in the side and black on the back as well. Now, the one thing is the straps are not adjustable. So once again, I would need to shorten these as well because as you can tell, my bra keeps popping out because these are too long. What I really love are these beautiful clasps down the front there. Can I show it to you? It's like a little hook and eye, but they're kind of like, a, I wouldn't say vintage inspired, but they definitely have a nod towards it, which I love. I love this top. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just too long for me. Now, I also paired it with a pair of earrings. I've been wearing them for the last couple of outfits, but I keep forgetting showing them to you. Aren't they beautiful? I absolutely love these earrings and I think they're going to go so well with so much in my wardrobe. But Rose Girl actually have a really fantastic selection of accessories. It's definitely worth checking that out. As I say, I love these pieces. The top just needs to be shorter and the trousers, 
they need to be smaller so yeah they were a miss but that is all the pieces for today rose gal has a lot more to offer than what I just have here. First of all, a huge thank you to Rose Gal for working with me. And I have to say a huge thank you to Dina as well for guiding me behind the scene. Fashion to me is all about having fun. It's exploring and it's trying new things and finding who you are. And there is no age limit on fashion. There is no time limit or size limit or anything at all on having fun with fashion. So if you like any of these pieces here, do go and check them out in the description box as well. And if you want to see what else Rose Gal have on offer, because they don't just have goth, this is just a small subsection of what they have. They have, they're probably the best place to shop for tops if you don't like showing your belly. As an apple shape who wants to hide their belly, Rose Gal is where you should go. But I'll leave you with the playlist right there so you can go and check them out. But that is it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.